What's up guys? I wanted to make a quick video about something that I wanted to address for a bit. And I know it's been a while since I've done one of these kind of videos, but we're actually not going to be doing any coding stuff today. I actually want to address a topic that I've been meaning to address for a while and just haven't had the time to do so. So I figure now is as good a time as any. So back on August 14th, I put a message up on Twitter that says officially stepped down from game dev today, at least professionally speaking, it was a hard choice, but one that had to be made. Looking forward to the next endeavor on Monday. And so I wanted to address what I meant by this because I have been asked several times since, uh, not just on Twitter, but DMs, things like that as well. And what exactly I meant by stepping down from game development professionally. This video is basically going to be why I left professional game development, or at least doing it as my full-time job. So before I get into that, I wanna give a little bit of a backstory. So in 2016, I landed my dream job, which was actually getting paid to make video games professionally, right? It was at a game studio. I got hired on as sort of a mid-level developer at the time. It wasn't AAA development of any sort, but it was a dream come true and I jumped into it with both feet, right? Um, because it was something that I'd always wanted to do since I was a kid. And so I was offered um, an opportunity to do that. Obviously, I took it, right? So as I said, I started as a like mid-range developer, eventually became a senior developer, and then eventually became uh, a, one of the lead developers there at the studio. And I'd worked that my way up um, to that rank, if you will, uh, over the course of about four years. You know, I worked with a lot of great people. Um, I had a lot of fun. It was a great paycheck. Um, awesome social environment, uh, you know, there were constant outings, cool events, um, the benefits were good, insurance 401k, um, there were dinners and movies and parties, and um, there was even some traveling involved, I got to go to various trade shows and uh, do some networking, some of those were in uh, South Africa, so that was a really cool experience to have as well. And so fast forward to August 2020, where I post a message on Twitter saying I'm leaving. Why? Why would I want to leave this, right? It sounds absolutely perfect. It sounds like the dream job, right? And it was my dream job. Um, so why would I want to leave that? Well, there's a bunch of reasons for this. And the most typical ones that you will hear are ones of, especially um, in the game industry as it stands right now, um, are reasons of tons of crunch and burnout and i'm not gonna lie there was crunch and i had gotten burned out um, at a point but it's not only because of that right because um crunch was something that i became accustomed to and it actually made me um better in some respects i think crunch is damaging to the industry and i have a lot of other thoughts on crunch that i i don't want to necessarily take on in this video so i'm probably going to put that off to another one but Crunch was not the primary reason I left. Basically what had happened was I felt that I sort of plateaued, right? That I had reached my potential or the limit of my potential there. Um, it was no longer challenging, right? I was just cranking out title after title and there was no real new things to be done, right? It was implementing new features and new games, things like that. And we were constantly releasing new games. Uh, in case I haven't mentioned it already, uh, we developed casino games so um you know there's adding a feature here and there but there's only so much innovation that happens with that on a regular basis right most of them um tend to be you know fairly standard slot machines um for the most part right um and i can't really say too much more obviously without breaking an nda but there's only so much innovation to be had with slot games and so like i said i felt like i plateaued and I'd become very stagnant and not challenged in the work that I was doing and I wasn't really enjoying it anymore, right? Um, and for me, if I'm not challenged with what I'm doing, it becomes very boring, it becomes very hard for me to focus and and really um, be passionate about what it is that I'm making, right? And this may not be true for all developers, but at least for me, if I'm not passionate about what I'm working on, I feel like I'm doing the end product of this service, right? By continuing to work on it. And so, you know, I, I thought about this for a lot of time um, and I just, I really had lost the passion for the type of products that we were making, right? Um, it was very interesting when I started. It was interesting for a long time because I was learning lots of new things, 
and um, and how to do those things. But once it sort of hit the point where we were just like, okay, just crank out the next game, crank out the next game, um, and there wasn't really anything new, um, or at least not anything large and new, um, I really ultimately just lost interest. The other thing that I want to sort of mention is, you know, it was it was all web-based games because these were titles that were you know shipped all around the world right so there's millions of people playing these games literally millions of people playing these games you know but they were all web-based they were all you know OpenGL um or sorry webgl and uh and javascript based right and so as uh viewers of my channel may or may not realize um especially if you're new i have done an entire series on making a game engine using typescript and webgl right and so between that and my daily work, I felt like there wasn't really anything left to explore on that avenue, right? WebGL has a lot of weird limitations, and um, and I just felt like there wasn't really anything more for me to do there, right? I mean, yes, I could always add features to my game engine and and try to make something, you know, next-gen looking, but ultimately, in a web browser, there's only so much you can do, right? You're, you're still sort of limited by that sandbox. And so I just sort of tired of all of those things sort of all at once, right? It wasn't really interesting to me anymore. And so I made the decision to leave full-time game development. It was a very difficult decision, right? It was something that I thought about for a long time, but I also realized that it was actually beginning to make me dislike making games and that it had always been my passion. And to me, that was a huge issue, right? Because I did not want to grow a hatred for making games and it was well on its way to that path. And I felt like it was obvious in the products that I was developing, right? Um, and again, that felt like a disservice. So I stepped down from game development. I now work in a completely unrelated field. Honestly, I couldn't be happier um, because while I'm not making games for a living on a day-to-day -day basis, it frees me up to do what I want to do in my spare time, right? Because uh, I, I also had a long commute to that job, which occupied um, between two and three hours of my day just in the commute alone. Um, and then on top of that, uh, you know, I I found myself, especially once the pandemic hit and, and we were um, working remotely, I didn't actually gain that time back because I actually wound up finding myself working a lot of extra hours on top of that um, sitting here at my home computer in my home office. I just wasn't getting time to sort of work on the passion projects that I wanted because I was too busy building games for somebody else. And that building games for somebody else thing really started to hit home with me. And I finally made the decision that that's not what I wanted to do anymore. I did not want to make games for anybody else anymore. I wanted to make games for me. I wanted to make a game that I enjoyed and that I felt other people would enjoy, right? And I wanted to really pick up my YouTube channel and get back to doing this. Stepping down from the game development job and taking up the position that I'm doing now really allowed me to do that, right? And there are some other reasons that I took the job that I have now as well. Um, you know, I work with a really great group of people and um, I couldn't be happier doing what I'm doing. Uh, I, I write medical software at the moment. I can't really say too much in terms of um, the things that we're doing because a lot of that is also locked down under agreements and whatnot. You know, it's it's not game development and I'm okay with that, right? Because it, it, it allows me to have that sort of separation between my pra my passion project and, um, and my daily work, right? And that separation I've found is actually key to me maintaining my passion for game development. So with that said, that is really the collection of reasons why I left full-time game development. And if you're not passionate about what you're doing, you're just not gonna do it as well. And that I wasn't comfortable with. So anyways, those are my reasons for stepping down from full-time game development. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I'd like to hear some of your feedback. I know a lot of people have been asking me this question and I figured this was sort of the best way to sort of answer it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, go ahead and hit that like button and if you haven't already consider subscribing and go ahead and hit that little bell too so that you get notifications for when new videos on this channel drop and I will see you guys next time.